What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a quick look at match pass as well as the two cards you get with the value and the premium match pass if you want to unlock that. So if anyone has unlocked the match pass before, the value match pass is going to be 500 coins to unlock a second one or the premium match pass is going to be a thousand coins, right? If you have never unlocked a match pass before, which I will show you right here on my other account, right here so we can unlock this at a special value price right so the value match pass is going to cost 250 and the premium match pass is going to cost 500 that is if you have if you are a newcomer to the game basically to put it in the most simplest terms if you are a newcomer to the game or if you've been playing this game for a while and you haven't got a match pass you get 50 percent discount in game off your first match pass that you unlock that's the best way of saying it right so as usual as usual lads the free stuff i mean um, the standouts of that are the four star after 10 games. You can get some nice players there, especially the player of the month players there. Um, you get your trainer points, you get a couple of contracts, and then also you get your free five star nominating contract, which you can get Gakpo, you can get Kim, you can get Akanji, you can get Mendez. Any of those are good players. You get no coins back with the regular edition. Um, if you, you know, if you obviously want to stay with that, um, you're just going to get the contract at 10 days and then it stops earning um rewards after 50 matches so with the value club or with the value pack here you're going to unlock a lot of extra stuff um as you can see here you get your 50 coins i think you get another five star there 50 coins i think you get 200 coins in total back and then the same with the premium right i have videos up in the match pass and what they kind of contain the biggest draw of the value in the premium compared to the free the regular ones is the bonus card that you get with it. Now, I think they'll expand expand this out for eFootball 2024. Um, I definitely think they're just kind of testing the waters with it, and I think they'll probably make, you know, these rewards and bonuses be more attracted, attractive um, to unlock when the game kind of has more content to do, especially if they bring in stuff like jerseys or kits or balls or being, you know, the ability to be able to do stuff. But anyway, we'll get into that in a different video. For now, we are going to be focusing on the value and the premium and doing a little bit of a, re of a review or a training guide on these guys because we have got Julian Alvarez, obviously a Champions League winner now. Um, one of the only players, I think one of the only 10 players ever to win the Champions League and the World Cup in the same year. I think I read that correctly. So this guy is actually low-key, lads, a really, really strong player. He's got 27 levels to go when you see his card here. I think as a deep line forward, that's probably the biggest... I will say slight on this card. Um, he is a bit of a monster. He does go to a 94 overall, but I think I would train him slightly differently because of his uh, his role in the team and whether or not you want to play him as that role. He's got some very unusual stats and player skills or a blend of a variety of stats and player skills. Like, for example, he's down as a deep line forward, but he has got long ball expert and early crosser. He's also, you know, down as a deep line forward, but he's got one touch pass and true passing and pinpoint crossing, as well as dipping shot and, and soul control and a couple of others, right? He's also got unwavering form. So I think this guy is definitely a really good uh, player. I think he's probably one of the best that they've added to match pass. Obviously, uh, it goes without saying, um, you know, there's no comparison between him and say, if you've got epics or legends on your squad, you know, if you've got a hundred overall cry for Messi playing that kind of SS deep line role coming air, you know, coming deep for the ball, uh, pinging balls forward, dribbling, running, being able to shoot, then obviously that's going to be separate, a separate kind of, uh, conversation to have. But for this card, I think it is really good. We've also got with the premium, the slightly less impressive of Botman. This guy is a very, very strong player. He's got really good stats. He's got blocker. He's got interception. He's got area superiority, fighting spirit, man marking. He does not have heading and he does not have acrobatic clearance. That's the only two things that I would say that are lacking on this card. Um, and it is obviously going to cost you double the money as well. So with the premium, okay? Um, he does have unwavering form. But we're going to head over to eFootballDB. And first, we're going to look at Julian Alvarez um, and train him up how we would. Now, there's two different versions of him, right? The first one here that we have up on screen, if you want to pause the video there, that is going to be more kind of like your run and gun, quick counter center forward that's going to be finishing a lot of shots. So you've got your offensive awareness for him making the runs. The deep line forward play style takes a lot to get used to because he's not going to be running into the box like a fox in the box or staying in the box and loitering around looking for tap-ins like a goal poacher, okay? So you do need to have that offensive awareness fairly high. You also need to have the acceleration fairly high to really complement this card, okay? If you are playing him as a deep line forward, I would also recommend boosting up the pass in just a fraction. You don't need to worry about aerial strength because he's too small. He's going to be like Romario. 
Still win open free headers, but I do think that this is a fairly strong build of him if you're looking for a run and gun finishing type center forward. Okay, the second version that I would go for would be I would just take this slightly uh, down to 85 overall. You're still going to get the boost if he is on form arrow. I would completely take away the passing because he does have one touch pass. So that kind of um, takes away a lot of what you would want on this card um, that you need to control. Like one touch pass on this card and true passing is huge on this card. Um, so I would definitely take away the passing completely. You don't need that for the role you're going to be playing him. And then I would pro possibly also take away this as well, one down to seven dribbling. So where am I going to go with the rest of him? He goes down to a 92 overall. Well, I would probably pump it in to stamina a little bit. I'd probably put one more into dexterity to get that balance to 88 so that when he's on form arrow, he's going to have a boost and have the three main stats as a center forward over 90. So you'll have offensive awareness, acceleration and balance over 90 or 90 plus. Um, when you do have the form arrow there and then I would probably just pop in the rest into speed and stamina if he's going to be your main uh, striker right and the same goes for if you are using him as a winger and you're using him to cross balls in um, you can kind of get rid of the shooting he's still going to have 80 shooting so you can dip in and dip out but I would just probably pump up his dribbling a little bit more there and then I would probably take this down a fraction and put two into that to have 74 speed 78 st stamina and then you have the balance ball control and the offensive awareness and acceleration all into the 90s if you're looking for a wing type player. He's going to be 92 overall on the wing. So that would be Alvarez. For a Botman, I think he's easier to train up. Obviously, he's down as a build up. He's got all the player skills that you could want. Um, never mind the AI running styles here or the play styles that needs to be updated. But for me here, this is all going to be about him being a unit. Um, I do want to train up his defending, max that out. Definitely get the aggression up to 92 or around that. And this kind of comes into a little bit of your skill level as well. Look, let's being 100% blunt, um, especially if you have been playing this game for a while, you will know how the speed works in the defensive half of your uh, half or the defensive side of your team. You know, that like you will find that the likes of Thiago Silva and players that are really slow, they never really get burnt for pace unless you get like carved open with like one touch passing or ping pong passing um you know very quick rapid succession of passing um where you just can't really react or the responsiveness of the ai sometimes doesn't kick into gear or player switch you know uh doesn't kick into gear so for me i never really focus too much on speed and acceleration i personally for the type of play i like to play i like having my center backs no matter who i'm playing with unless i have one center back that's kind of slow I like to have most of my center backs with 70 plus on acceleration, but that's because I bring the ball forward. Like I sprint forward always with one of my center backs. Um, if I'm playing a three at the back, especially because you still have the cover with your DMF. But I do think with this guy, you're largely going to ignore that, right? And just turn him into a defensive juggernaut. So once you have his stamina up to about 74, um, and you can put the dexterity up a little bit as well if you want to, we can also get in a couple of little extra hidden ones here um, where we can get five into jump or we can get five into um, aerial strength, I should say. We four for goalkeeper. That will raise up the jump a little bit higher. Uh, jumping has become very prevalent again. And then the defending is going to be all in the 90s. So if you are a very good, strong manual defender you could genuinely turn that down um that once you have the aggression at 88 and you could pop up the dexterity a little bit you could also pop down this a fraction and this and then you would be able to get one more into that and one more into the stamina if you wanted to go that route but yeah whatever way you train him i think this is kind of a yeah, he's not really anything to really shout home about with the with the match pass. But other than that, lads, I think the free match pass is pretty decent. As usual, you get your free five star. You can buy uh, Kim or Akanja. Akanji, who's going to be better than Batman anyway. Gakpo, you could buy him. He's probably going to be able to, you know, be as good, if not better than Alvarez. Um, if you wanted to go that route with Gakpo, there's a lot of available players here. I mean, this guy is a very good prolific winger and you can play him through the center or left mid. So yeah, I mean, you can also play co-op games now. Any friend match that you play, you will unlock the match pass so it's easier to clear. So that's just a quick little video on it, lads. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll be back in a bit. Peace.